Congressman Yunus uh, re, uh, put the label on this as a, a man-made drought. Uh, I beg to differ. Uh, we have been uh, seeing uh, very significant changes in uh, water supply in California. Uh, I want to draw your attention to the slide up here. This is a state that uh, you guys uh, would all recognize as the state of California. And as you're probably aware, uh, there's a government-imposed uh, drought that's been uh, occurring here where we've lost 40,000 jobs. Uh, this is an area the size of the state of Rhode Island uh, that's out of production, either been abandoned or fallowed. Uh, the unemployment in this area is close to 20 percent, with some enclaves uh, as high as 40 percent or even higher. Uh, Mr. Salazar, you visited this area on April 15th to tour the economic devastation. And on your visit, you announced $260 million in stimulus funds, and I'll quote from your press release, to mitigate the effects of the devastating drought that California is currently experiencing, unquote. Uh, Mr. Secretary, I, we've talked about this before, but there's not a drought in California. Uh, we've had 95 percent of average rainfall. What we have is a man-made, government-imposed drought uh, because of the Endangered Species Act, as you're well aware. Uh, but you did take some action, uh, and you provided Recovery Act funding, and I'd like to draw your attention to the, to the next slide. Uh, as you can see on the monitor, uh, the X's mark where the stimulus funds went to, uh, and you can see that those X's are nowhere close to where the 40,000 jobs uh, have been lost. Uh, after this was sprinkled over Northern California for uh, environmental purposes, uh, the crisis got worse in the San Joaquin Valley, and Mr. Salazar, you returned June 28th to hold the town hall with the victims of this man-made catastrophe. I'd like to show you the, the next slide. Uh, you issued uh, another $130 million in stimulus funds. Uh, and according to your testimony today, the funds were for water reuse projects with the goal to help alleviate some of the devastation in the region. Uh, you can see uh, that this, uh, where the X's are, that we still have no stimulus money. Uh, in full disclosure, uh, your press release also included $20 million for small water infrastructure projects and $40 million in drought relief. They are not reflected on this map because we don't know where the money has went to. Uh, Mr. Secretary, in your testimony, you said, quote, over the next 18 months, we will be begin approximately $1.8 billion uh, in, creating, in work, creating at least 19,000 jobs. Uh, Mr. Salazar, it doesn't take stimulus money to put 40,000 people back to work. As you know, all we have to do is get these pumps on uh, and get water back to the San Joaquin Valley. It's free. It doesn't take a dime. So I'd ask uh, one question of you. Uh, simply, uh, you know the situation with the biological opinion. So I'm going to ask a very specific question, and that is, do you plan at this time to conduct a reconsult on the Delta smelt biological opinion that will put folks back to work? Congressman uh, Nunez, uh, first let me say I appreciate uh, your passion and uh, your uh, desire to address this uh, issue, which is uh, causing a lot of pain uh, in uh, Central Valley in California, and I'm fully aware of it. Uh, I've been in the area twice, uh, including uh, with uh, Governor Schwarzenegger and a meeting that we had with uh, you and other members of the Congress uh, in, in Fresno. Uh, there really are two things that we have to do. First, uh, we have to take some short-term action, including uh, dealing with some of the projects that uh, you and others here have suggested, and we are trying to move those forward as expeditious as we can. And secondly, we have to look at the long-term issue in California relative to water supply. We have a system which is built for about 18 million people, and actually California now has over 30 million people. And we have the kinds of challenges there that really requires us to take a systemic view of uh, the water supply and the other demands that uh, are uh, creating uh, the major problem that we are, we are encountering. With respect to the recovery dollars going into California, you know, if uh, Governor Schwarzenegger uh, would not want to take these monies, uh, he might have that option, although I don't think it would be in the best interest of the people of California. But we have $220 million uh, for uh, and Mr. California. Mr. That Mr. We've Salazar, announced. I apologize, but I have to interrupt because I know your time is limited and we have to go. But sure. Mr. Mr. Vilsack, I just want to ask one simple question to you. You're a farm guy from a farm state. Is it possible to grow crops in Iowa without water? <laughs> you know the answer is no. I want to yield my remaining time uh, to Ms. Uh, Loomis, who has a question for you, Mr. Salazar. Sure. Uh, there are rare 
and I do mean rare circumstances where the Endangered Species Act should not be allowed to destroy people's lives, destroy them. And that's happening in the San Joaquin Valley. I'm a person who has a state that is very impacted by the uh, Endangered Species Act, uh, including wolves and humpback chubs and other species. But nothing we're experiencing in Wyoming is as bad as what I see in the San Joaquin Valley. And I do agree with Mr. Nunez that there have to be alternatives to this man-made drought in the San Joaquin Valley. I thank you for your time, Secretary Salazar. And Congressman Nunez uh, uh, put the label on this as a, a man-made drought. Uh, I beg to differ. Uh, we have been uh, seeing uh, very significant changes in uh, water supply in California, including uh, changes in precipitation and timing of precipitation. And so this is an issue which has been going on for several years, and it's gotten worse uh, over time. Uh, we are all hands on deck uh, trying to figure out a, prob uh, a solution to the problem. But at the end of the day, as I have uh, uh, said to Mr. Nunez uh, on several occasions, you know, we need to figure out a way of moving forward together. And uh, frankly, labeling uh, in terms of man-made drought versus uh, reality is uh, frankly not helpful to us. We've got to come together because there are a lot of people who are suffering in the San Joaquin Valley, as you say.